What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less, y'all stick around to the end. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about when a narcissist cries, when you try to hold them accountable for cheating, lying, whatever. They're not crying for you, they're crying for themselves. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. Oh, yeah, if you catch a narcissist cheating and they start crying and things like that, ask yourself, who are they crying for? And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So when you catch a narcissistic person cheating, toxic person cheating or whatnot, and they start crying, they're not crying for you. They knew that if they got caught cheating, that it would hurt you. They already knew that. They are not crying because they hurt you. They're not crying because they feel like they're the scum of the earth. They're crying for themselves because their lifestyle, or whatever convenience that you provide them in their life might be over. They are crying to manipulate you into giving them another chance. They're not crying because they're remorseful. They're not crying because they feel so terrible for what they did. They are absolutely crying for themselves and that's where the narcissistic part kicks in. When they start boohoo crying or throwing up or you know begging for forgiveness they'll threaten to take themselves out of here they'll threaten to unalive themselves you know they'll they'll self-deprecate and say i'm the worst person in the world they want you to feel bad for them they don't feel bad for you absolutely crying for themselves in that moment so welcome back and as you can see they're not crying for you those tears those acidic so those the tears that are coming from a narcissist the side of their eyes it's not actually tears. It's like gold slogger or something something that'll get you drunk on it. Don't taste the narcissist's tears. Don't fall prey or victim to a narcissist or a toxic person's tears. Because you know what? Narcissists absolutely do not care about how you about making you look dumb, about how you feel, about anything. They'll cheat on you and they'll cry and boo-hoo cry. They look y'all. One of the main questions that I get a lot of times is people asking me like, does the narcissist know that they're hurting you when they're cheating on you and they're clapping somebody else's cheeks? Do they understand that they will hurt you if they find if you find out? Yes, absolutely. Yes, because they know if they saw you getting your cheeks clapped or clapping somebody else's cheeks, they will go ballistic. So, yes, they know it will hurt you. They're not thinking about you while they're doing it. They're thinking about themselves. They're thinking about making themselves happy. They don't care how you feel about it. But now you catch them in the act. You catch them cheating or lying or being abusive to you. You're trying to hold them accountable. Here come the waterworks. Here come the, the not the waterworks. Here come, here come the, the highly acidic, high alcohol volume, you know, high, high, high proof tears. Don't taste the gold schlager tears that are coming from a narcissistic person's face. Now they want to cry. Now they want to be the, all of a sudden they're the victim now. They cheat on you. They do something horrible to you. Now they are somehow the victim of circumstance. You know how my mama raised me and my mama raised me to be a cheater. My daddy raised me to be a cheater and I didn't know it would hurt you. And I'm the worst person in the world and blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. You get it. You get it. You understand it. You see it with your own eyes. You visualize it. But unless you take active action, that person is going to take advantage of you. They don't care how you feel at the end of the day. They just absolutely do not. They are trying to serve themselves. And when they get caught now, all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness, my life is over. I have to make this person forgive me. I have to be forgiven by this person. I have to take a, I have to take corrective action or this person is going to leave me and make my life harder. They're crying for themselves. They're crying because the validation or your supply that they get from you is probably going to leave them. So they're crying and begging and pleading and probably threatening, threatening to go have a face-to-face -face conversation with God because they hurt you so bad. Don't fall for the tears. So many people do it. And look, you didn't know. You didn't know. Now you know. Now the information is present. Now it's in front of you. Now you see it and you feel it and you hear it. Now it's on you to take action. I'm Me personally, I know I have narcissistic personality. I ain't forget, cheating. <laughs> cheating up. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Empower yourself. Take back your power, take back your strength. And understand they're not crying for you. Those tears are fake. Especially if it's a man's tears. I don't know what the hell it is, what the hell it is about a man's tears to make y'all weak. Men, men's tears can be fake too. Trust me. They'll boo-hoo cry, beg, please, snot coming from their nose and be lying the whole damn time. So empower yourself. Don't fall for the gold slogger tears. Stay safe, stay empowered. Mental illness is out. Like and subscribe too. Peace.